So uh, this isn't going to be a full vlog, but I just wanted to take a quick moment here because late yesterday I uh, learned the news of the death of uh, U.S. Marine, a former Marine, uh, Pete Reed. And um, first and foremost, I want to say to um, Pete's friends, family, loved ones, if they happen to see this, that um, I'm deeply sorry for your loss. But I suspect, well, I wouldn't want to put uh, words in Pete's mouth or speak for him. Uh, I suspect strongly that he knew the risks. And um, as terrible as it is uh, that he paid the ultimate cost, um, this is a conflict that, you know, very well might be worth paying the ultimate cost because it is a righteous fight. But let me tell you a little bit about Pete and what I knew of him. Uh, I met him in Mosul when I was working as a producer. And I, I didn't know him well. I saw him in passing at the hotel uh, when we were in Erbil and people would go from Erbil into Mosul in the fight against ISIS and to regain Mosul into Iraqi hands. And the only time I was privileged enough to spend an extended period of time with Pete was when I uh, had arranged to buy some video, some GoPro video of, of the expeditions that he and his aid team would uh, film as they went in to rescue people and give aid. So I had the uh, good fortune to spend a good afternoon with him, a long afternoon sifting through this material and talking about it. I found Pete to be a real Marine, the best of what the Corps has to offer. He was sardonic, he was funny, uh, he was indefeatable. He, he, and, you know, he, he was not easily fatigued, not indefeatable, but rather he was not easily fatigued. And it's sad, the details that we're hearing now of the way he died. Apparently, um, the Russians fired upon him in a clearly marked ambulance. Pete died, by reports, trying to save or protect another human life with his own body. The, selfless, the selflessness cannot be overstated. But ultimately, I think about Pete and I think about all the death in this awful war. I think about my friend Pierre. I think about the many, many Ukrainian friends that I have whose families are suffering and who have lost people. And it just comes back to the question of why. The, the, the die is cast. Russia is going to lose this war. It's only a matter of time. And unfortunately, sadly, it seems the only other question is how many more people have to suffer and die. Go home, Vova. Just pack it up and go home. All you're doing is causing more pain, not only to the people of Ukraine, not only to the international community who've come here to help these people, but of your own Russian populace. Go home, finish this, before there's so much more blood. Slava Ukrainian, Gerojim Slava.